LA City Councilman Mark Ridley Thomas says the bribery and corruption charges he is facing are wrong and he will fight them. The councilman was indicted in an alleged scheme to help his son get a job at USC. KCAL 9 Jeff Nguyen has reaction to the charges. Councilman Mark Ridley Thomas was supposed to chair a homelessness and poverty city council committee meeting, but that was canceled one day after he was indicted on federal charges. LA Mayor Eric Garcetti commented on the news at an event in North Hollywood. While I know nothing more than what we read, uh, this is a case which, uh, if the facts are true, is incredibly disturbing. And as I've always said, Break the law, be, pair, be prepared to pay the price. The case against Ridley Thomas alleges he conspired with Marilyn Flynn, a former dean at USC, to funnel campaign money through the university to a nonprofit run by his son, Sebastian Ridley Thomas. Prosecutors also say Sebastian got a scholarship and teaching job. In exchange, the university got county contracts worth millions. Um, I'm a big believer in due process, but I'm a big believer in consequences. Ridley Thomas was a county supervisor at the time of the alleged crime. Today, his attorney sent a statement that read in part, Mark Ridley Thomas was shocked by the federal allegations leveled against him and with good reason. They are wrong and we look forward to disproving them. This is the third corruption case to hit City Hall in recent years. Former Councilman Jose Weizar was suspended for bribery and racketeering charges, and Mitch Englander is doing time after pleading guilty to lying to federal authorities while serving in office. Councilman Paul Krikorian was asked whether Ridley Thomas should be suspended as well. I believe in due process as well, but I think we have to be consistent as well. And when people are facing federal indictments, um, it's very difficult for them to continue to do their job in the city council. Prosecutors say both Mark Ridley Thomas and Marilyn Flynn have agreed to appear for their arraignments in federal court in the coming weeks. In downtown Los Angeles, Jeff Nguyen, CBS2 News.